All right, this past weekend, Liverpool put in a pretty uh, dodgy performance against Fulham. And it kind of has me thinking, like, is the window for this team closed? Or is it closing for them to win a title, win the Champions League again? I am a bit worried as a Liverpool fan. I'm a bit worried. But there shall be no worries today, because now we are in charge of continuing the success and building upon it and taking this team further. So in this video, we are rebuilding Liverpool and we're going to try and keep it realistic. Now, whatever that means, we will find out. But it is time for the Jurgen Klopp era. And Jurgen Klopp's a pretty good name. You can do Jurgen Klopster, Jurgen Klopp. I like both. But the goal of this video is to win the Prem and win the Champions League probably more importantly and also make some much needed signings to uh take this team to of course the next level so drop a like if you guys want to see more rebuild videos drop in the comments which team you want to see us do next and we are very close to 85,000 subs which is insanely close to 100,000 subs we are getting insanely close so of course hit that sub button down below if you have not all right so obviously the biggest storyline of this team is losing Sadio Mane to Bayern Munich and bringing in Darwin Nunez which I don't really see them as like like for like replacements like Nunez is a nine Mane played on the left and man after that Fulham game I'm I'm thinking we're gonna miss Sadio Mane so much like more than we probably think and we already probably knew we were gonna miss him a lot like don't get me wrong I love Diaz I love Jota I'm scared of Jota getting injured and then Diaz is good he's young but he doesn't exactly look for his teammates as much as Sadio Mane did I mean you could argue Mane's in his prime Diaz isn't yet but I feel like that's Luis Diaz's biggest uh biggest criticism is not looking for his teammates not playmaking enough which of course we hope he works on which he which he will but I just think we're gonna miss Sadio Mane so much I, I think Darwin Nunez is gonna be really good I mean everyone's doing the Holland versus Nunez I think right now Holland's probably the better player but i don't think nunez is too far behind him and we'll see what they can do as the season progresses but right now this is our starting 11 so jota on the left i think i prefer him on the left over diaz that way we can play nunez starting at strikers i want nunez to start for uni shield in the full game and when nunez came on we looked better attacking wise it almost unlocked like salah a little bit and then of course three midfield tiago henderson fabinho tiago's got injured so i'm very worried about our midfield and then back line Andy robertson van dyke and trent and then this right center back spot is pretty inter interchangeable between kanate and matip i mean the bench isn't bad but we compare it to like man city Chelsea. It'd be tough to argue our, our bench is that level of quality as those teams, which hopefully in time, we're going to improve that in this video. So the first transfer window is disabled. And like I said, this is a realistic rebuild. I mean, we may have 114 uh, 0.8 million pounds. But if we're being realistic, Liverpool's not spending any of that. So this is the squad for the first half of the season. I think we're going to sim to January and then assess where the team is at and assess any changes we need to make. I'm hoping Darwin Nunez goes absolutely crazy here. All right, January 1st, we're actually sitting in first place, which is very good. I mean, it's pretty close though. The top four is extremely close. And then Champions League, we finished top our group. That was our Champions League group. And round of 16, we haven't drawn Atletico Madrid. That's not an easy round of 16. I'm kind of surprised we're in first because we got emails saying that uh, Trent, Darwin Nunez, Nunez and Allison were all injured. I believe uh, Trent and Nunez are actually injured right now. Yeah, Trent's out for seven weeks and then Nunez is out for three weeks. Who's doing the business for us? Uh, okay, Salah is. Salah, Diaz, and Henderson doing the business for us this season. I guess he's got the scoring itch this season. That's kind of what the number is. I'm not surprised without uh, without Mane there. That's kind of what I expect. But okay, do we need to sign like an emergency right back? Because we have seven weeks. I mean, who's our backup right back? It's pretty much Joe Gomez. Is he right back? I mean, he could play there. I guess he's fine for now. Okay, Matthews is doing 85. Probably Matthews should be starting now. And then Nunez is three weeks. I think for now just it'll slot like this and be fine i like to see nunez already up to 82 though i like to see that all right so the only actual transfer business we've done is we sold alex oxley chamberlain durao sociedad which i think he wasn't get much playing time so i think it makes sense and there is one player liverpool are linked with a lot or recently a lot especially with the new tiago and drew IRL. and that is benesed from ac milan we're gonna scout him because i i think with like you see james milner down to a 75 i like nabby as a backup we don't really have a backup cdm though so i feel like benesed would be a very good signing right now all right so benesed is 82 rated he's 24 years old 59 obviously a box to box may could play maybe cdm Although I think he'd more, he's more so be box to box like Henderson. It's slot at CDM, but more so he's going to be box to box. Um, EA needs to work on this man's face. Like he definitely needs like a new face, I think. But I think right now in January, he'd be a good pickup and it's it's linked IRL. So I think this will be our only signing in January. And I feel like it's one that's probably pretty decent. I mean, 40 million. If we can pay 40 million IRL, I think we'd take that maybe. Could be the future replacement for Fabinho, Henderson, somewhere in the midfield. And obviously right now in this save, we have the luxury of Thiago not being injured. IRL though, the man's out for an extended amount of time. So we need another midfielder. Um, he probably wants a big wage increase. I feel like he's 82 I feel like he's gonna want a decent amount. We got the money for it, so we're gonna do that. And uh, Benesed accepts 75,000 per week. That's the first signing of this rebuild. I feel like it's very realistic for Liverpool to wait for January to address the problem. And then that's the only signing we make in January. So he will take uh, James Milner to spawn the bench. And I think that's pretty much it. We're gonna get Trent back soon, Nunez back soon. And then we're gonna start the Champions League knockout stage. All right, so round of 16, like I said, Atletico Madrid versus Liverpool. I feel like Atletico Madrid, just the way they play, they're always a team like you just don't really wanna face. Man, there's some good matchups here. Atletico Madrid, Liverpool, Man City, Barcelona, Inter, PSG, then Bayern, and Real Madrid. This is a pretty stacked round of 16. All right, Trent will be back for the second leg, but he's not fit yet for the first leg. But Nunez is back. So first leg in Madrid. Just for some reason, leg in Madrid makes me very nervous here. And 
I mean, Darwin Nunez two, Salah one. Okay, the nerves are for nothing. That is a great first leg right there. All right, Trent's back for the second leg, but honestly, this should be pretty simple from here on out. Three one up. There's no way we go up a three one lead, right? Okay, two one. We almost did. Nunez scores again, and we barely beat a leg Madrid four three. How did we let them come back that close? It's not a good sign, but at least we're through the quarterfinals. All right, round of sixteen. Man City took out Barcelona. Um, PSG Inter seven five aggregate. That's insane. And then Saudi Mane Bayern Munich knock out Real Madrid too. That's big. So quarterfinals are got Ajax now. What is this Adana Demir Sport team? They've made it to the quarters. Like talk about a dream run. But I do feel like we got pretty lucky. You're getting Ajax. I mean, out of, out of the teams there, it feels fortunate at least. So first leg, first team's fully fit. First leg at, at Anfield, home field territory, and it's gonna be two one. Salah scores and also uh, Salah scores two actually. Okay, two one. I mean, could be could be better, could be worse. All right, second leg two one. It's still extremely close. Are we gonna make the Champions League semifinals? Yes, we are. Henderson and Darwin Nunez again, and we beat Ajax two one. We are through to the semifinals. All right, so Spurs actually beat PSG six five. Wow. So a Spurs, Man City, Bayern, and Liverpool. Are we about to see like a Saudi Mane versus Salah semifinal? No, we're not. It's gonna be Spurs, Liverpool, then Man City, Bayern. We got Spurs. This is the new look Spurs team that actually is like insane though. Like I feel like they're gonna be a problem this year. Okay, where is where is Harry Kane? They got Sun, Calvert, Lewin up top, and then Kulishevsky on the right. Basuma, Benton Kerr, Regulon, Davies, Sanchez, Romero, and Emerson Royal on the right back. Where is Harold Kane? Harold of the Kane, Sir Harold Kane. I don't know, but Calvert Lewin is still decent in FIFA. Are we gonna reach the Champions League final in season one? Hey, we're gonna find out. First leg, first team. Fully fit. This game is going to be, it's going to be 2-1. Darwin and Salah again. Okay, Kane came off the bench, I think. No, wait, Kane started. Where, where was Calvert Lewin? I am confused, but 2-1 win, I'll take it. All right, this right here is to reach the Champions League final in season one at Anfield. 2-1 up. All we got to do is get, get the job done. We just lost on penalties. 4-3 at Anfield. They beat us 2-1. Nunez scores, Sun scores, and Kulishevsky scores. We lose on penalties, though. I can't believe it. Tiago missed penalty, and also Jota missed. I can't believe we just got knocked out by Spurs. In the semifinals, we were, we were actually so close to making this a one-season rebuild. All right, so at least no Champions League. Are we going to win the Prem, though? Because we were we were first in January. Have we have we stayed there? Okay, going down our leads, Norwich and Brentford. I forgot to replace the promoted teams. Talk about a realistic rebuild. It's already ruined. But okay, Premier League, champion, is gonna be Liverpool. Okay, okay, by 14 points. We actually won the Prem by a decent margin. Spurs, Arsenal, Man City finish uh, second, third, and fourth, huh? Chelsea sixth with uh, pretty much blame Barcelona for that. But hey, Premier League title season one, I'll take that. Of course, it's realistic though, because we can't win the Champions League and Premier the same season. It's it's always one or the other, pretty much. But hey, I will take a Premier League title. I will take that. FA Cup is gonna be, it's gonna be Manchester United. It's a Manchester Derby. And then Carabao Cup is also Manchester United. And Champions League was eventually won by Spurs. I mean, I could see Conte leading them somewhere. I don't know if it's to the Champions League final but maybe a trophy because their team does look insanely good. Um, Europa League is won by Chelsea on penalties. Conference League is won by Roma over Manchester United. I Manchester United almost had the treble. Talk about a season for Ten Hag. All right, top score of the season is Salah with 32 and 12, Nunez with 22. Hey, if this happens IRL, I would be so happy. And then Diaz, 13 and 3, very respectable. Henderson, 10 and 5 for the midfield, very respectable. And then Trent coming in with 11 assists. I mean, not as much as usual, but it's still a decent amount. We were so close to Champions League, though. I feel like we're going to need a bit more to actually win the Champions League. I, don't, I feel like we need to change something with the squad to win the Champions League. So. Oh, season two, that is exactly what we're going to do. Yeah, by the way, you win the Premier League and my rating is 51. I just feel completely disrespected. All right, so season two, our rating is 49. We just won the Prem, we're about to get fired. But okay, I mean, 302, it's not realistic though. The actual budget Liverpool has is more probably like, like 90 to 100 in one window. And if they spend all that, we'd be lucky. But I do think we need to make some changes to this team to win the Champions League, like I said. I like the front three though. I think the front three stays. I kind of want a center back and also another midfielder, I think. All right, first departure of season two, might be Naby Keita. I mean, this hurts because I, I actually like him a lot in real life, but I think we got a signing in mind and I think it makes sense to let him go. Now, Atletico Madrid, is that a, what kind of team is that for Naby? I mean, I don't really know how we do Atletico Madrid. I feel like he's more, he'd probably be decent there. I don't know. We'll see if he actually makes that move though. And now RB Leipzig want a uh, Joel Matip again. This one hurts probably more, but I think to get to go forward i think he might have to be the one that's uh that's axed so 51 million they will accept that so he might be on his way to rb leipzig all right so nabby's gone and also joe matip is gone it hurts but i think to go forward we have to do it so the replacement for matip is gonna be it's gonna be kanate I, I feel like it's the most realistic like we could go out and sign a center back but i think it's more realistic that kanate would take that starting spot and gomez is back up but we do need a fourth choice center back basically and a player that liverpool have been uh, linked with is milinkovic from uh, fiorentina and he won't be that expensive to be our fourth choice so i feel like once again it just makes sense 
So 22 million and they accept that. And just like that, Milinkovic is signed up first signing of season two. And now a player that we have signed in real life is Calvin Ramsey from Aberdeen. I would buy him, but apparently a uh, player is not for sale. So we're gonna have to hold off on him for now. But there is one player that all Liverpool fans want right now. But if it happens, it'll probably be next season where we're at right now in the save. And that is of course Jude Bellingham. Now, where would he fit in midfield with already Thiago, Henderson, and Fabinho? I'm not sure. I'm guessing we, he'd probably split time with Thiago a lot to like try and prevent Thiago from being injured. But I think out of all teams, uh, Bellingham is linked to Liverpool the most. We of course have to make this happen. He's basically Naby's replacement, 85 million we're gonna pay. I mean, it's a lot of money, but I think this will probably be our last signing of the second season. So we will give him a very generous 85,000 per week, a little bit of signing bonus. And Jude Bellingham is signed up to Liverpool. I wish it was happening IRL this window. It's probably not. But still, if it happens next year, I'll take it. So he takes the number eight shirt, which I think fits him. I kind of want to start him over Thiago, I think, just so I, I think he'll grow like crazy being only 19. And it will keep Thiago from getting injured. So I feel like that's probably the most realistic thing. So Ben is set backup CDM. Bellingham, I think he, yeah, I think he's going to start over, uh, over Thiago. And then Kanate becomes like the undisputed starter in this team. I mean, there's not many big changes. Bellingham's obviously a big change. Like, that's how Liverpool operate. They don't make huge changes. It's usually, like, one big signing if we're lucky. And then kind of replacing older players, bringing in a player here and there like Ben has said. Still got Curtis Jones, Carvalho on the bench. Of course, also Malegovic. So I think the key here is Bellingham and Kanate. Them starting, they need to grow. If they grow like crazy, they both got insane potential. I think that is the X factor here that could allow us to win the Champions League. If they grow like crazy in the first half of the season. So that is what we're going to see. All right, so January season two, we're sitting in second place in the Prem. We got one game at hand, though. Kind of expected Man City to have a response in the have there in first. Look at Wolves in third. That's a pretty good, uh, pretty good season for them. And then Champions League, we finished uh, first in the group in a group of Juventus and Sporting. And round of 16, we have drawn Leverkusen, which that's, I like that draw, I think. Although hopefully those are not famous last words. So Fabinho is injured, but I don't think, I think he's already back. Yeah, he's been 11 days, so that's not bad. Top scorer, Nunez has overtaken Salah as the top scorer of the club. Now 86 rated at 23. I mean, hey, we like to see it. Also, Joto at nine. Look at Thiago, nine and eight. Okay, the signing of uh, Jude Bellingham has like lit a fire under Thiago. His Bellingham's played 24 games. He's got no goals and three assists in Thiago. The competition in the team has helped, I think. So do we make any moves in January? I would like to sign Ramsey because of course they've done this IRL, but we still can't. And a player that has been linked to Liverpool recently is Leroy Sané. I mean, I would take Sané Liverpool in a heartbeat. I really like Leroy Sané. It's just right now, I mean, he's 87 rated. Well, where would he go? He wouldn't start. Jota, Nunez, Sal, that's the front three. And I like Diaz on the bench. I guess he would be like our backup, maybe right winger, which I think Sané, he's too good for that. He's probably starting at Bayern. Uh, I think honestly, we keep things as they are. I don't think we make any changes in January. And is up to 84. I would like more than that but i mean so far it's been decent it seems like bellingham's 85 i like to see that it's just is this team good enough to win the champions league with the minimal moves we've made that i'm not sure of we're about to find out though all right so leverkusen first leg is anyone hurt um it does not seem like it first team looks pretty good so kanate is already 85 bellingham 86 i like it but i think tiago starts his stats look better than bellingham's right now so this is what we go with to start the champions league knockout stage i think i want to see feeling a little confident here but that of course could change in a in very quickly they got florian verts playing striker that's kind of weird but first leg against leverkusen this is going to be 4-2. I don't like the two goals conceded, but I like the four goals scored. Robertson, Jota, Salah, and Henderson. I mean, I would be disgusted if we get knocked out by Leverkusen here. I would be absolutely disgusted. So, second leg at home, let's just get the job done. Let's seal this. This is going to be, it's going to be 1-1, one, one, 5 through and aggregate. We are through to the Champions League quarterfinals. Jota scoring our only goal. So, we get through Leverkusen as expected. Oh, no. It is, it has actually happened. Bayern Liverpool Champions League quarterfinals. It's Sadio Mane versus Mohamed Salah. Oh, I don't like that. Arsenal, Milan, City, Barcelona, PSG, Dortmund. Man, we're going to have to try and take down Sadio Mane. We definitely miss Mane, but I do think we have the better team here, I think. I just said I think like four times. We're gonna make it five because I think we'll be okay here. I think this is gonna be it's gonna be one one. Okay, going back to Anfield, Henderson scores. Going back to Anfield, I would not I would not bet against us, I think. Come on, if we can get past this hurdle right here, I feel like we'd be in such a good spot. Hey, where is Sadio Mane? He's not even starting. It doesn't matter. Anfield, 1-1 one, one on aggregate. All we gotta do is win this game. So please, come on, boys. Come on, boys. 2-1, Salah, Thiago. And we take down Bayern. Did, did Mane come on on the bench? He was on the bench, but he didn't even come on, though. Okay, that's kind of weird. But okay, we do beat... Bayern Munich. Okay, I will admit, uh, this is kind of a weird one. Champions League semis, it's PSG Barcelona, then Arsenal v Liverpool. So Arsenal's rebuild a little ahead of a uh, schedule. I mean, I think we have a better chance here than uh than against PSG or Barcelona. They got Balogun up top, Thomas Partey, Gunduzi, Pepe, Martinelli. I mean, this team is in the Champions League semis. I feel like we got the much better team here. Please don't let that be my famous last words. This game is gonna be it's gonna be one nil at the Emirates Stadium. So same thing as Bayern. Come back home and get the job done and reach this Champions League final. Oh man, Henderson is suspended for this game. Okay. 
so Bellingham, I guess that's a good reason we signed you. So Henderson is out for this game. So second leg midfielder Thiago, Bellingham, and Fabinho. They're now signing Han up top. Who is Han? I don't know. Still, I, I feel like we have the edge here. I feel like we should beat this Arsenal squad. Saying it and doing it are two different things, and we're still going to beat them 3-1. Jota, Salah, and Trent score, and we are heading into the Champions League final. And we are facing PSG in the Champions League final. Messi, Neymar, and Mbappe. Oh, that's going to be that's going to be so tough, especially on our sliders. But we got one game left in the Prem, and I've stopped here because I noticed uh, there's only one point separating us and Man City at the top. And we play Wolves, I think, yeah, Wolves final day. If we win this, we're Premier League champions back to back. If we lose, though, then I'm going to throw up because that probably means we lost the title, especially in Man City. So let's beat Wolves right here. Get our, get the job done. Our We just lost 2-1. Oh, we probably just lost to the Premier League title. Oh, Wolves beat us on the final day. I think that's the title gone. Wolves beat us on the final day, and I think that's title gone. Yeah, you already saw Man City in the news tab. Man City have all final day. Oh, we actually, they actually drew. They drew an on goal difference. One goal they won the title on. They drew with Brighton 1-1. All we needed was a point and Wolves beat us. I can't believe it. A goal difference of plus one has won Man City the Premier League title. Okay, at least we won it in season one. And I mean, if recent pattern is anything to uh, take account of, when Liverpool don't win one trophy like the Premier League title, usually that means they can win the Champions League. Although this last season, that that's actually not true. I am trying to find a silver lining here. And that silver lining will hopefully be won by us because we're about to play PSG. But first, Darn Nunez 26 goals, Salah 25, Jota 14, Thiago 11 and 10, and Diaz 10 and 1. Look at Andy Robertson, 6 and 12 from Andy. That's a very good season. But yeah, Thiago had a great season after the competition signing with Bellingham. And then Nunez, Salah, the two main men in the squad now in terms of scoring wise. Is it enough for us to beat PSG? I don't know. I mean, Kanata 85, I would like him to be like 87 ish. Bellingham's 86 was very good, but I think Thiago has played so well that he's starting. And then Nunez has grown insane. 88 rated at what, 24? Tw actually, still 23 years old. He has grown insanely. And now we have a chance to win the Champions League. But yeah, it's, uh, it's not going to be easy. Of course, we put an ultimate competitor mode on, player base difficulty on. And yeah, the sliders we use are pretty insane. So user, injury sliders, 65, 25, then marking is 60. That's the same for the CPU. That's the only user sliders we touch. And then for the CPU, 35 shot air, one pass air for the CPU. Same injury and marking sliders, and then goalkeepers at 55 for CPU. And then their first touch is at 23. So yeah, these sliders are insane. Even with our insane team, like there's no guarantee here. And yeah, we are talking about a PSG team with Neymar, Mbappe, and Lionel Messi front three. They got Valverde, Rice. I mean, they had some great signings. Yellow left back Torres. I'm guessing Pau Torres is center back with Marquinhos and then Akimi right back. This team is scary, but we're also scary. Are we scary enough to win the Champions League? We are about to find out. Come on. I am feeling residual sadness from the IRL Champions League final we lost to Real Madrid. I am feeling residual anger about it. And we need to channel that into this game and win this game as redemption. Although, yeah, on these sliders, I'm a little bit afraid of this PSG squad. They made some very good signings, but our team is insane. So we got we got a good shot. If we play our game, we have a very good shot. But yeah, Mbappe scares me in this game. Also, Declan Rice. I mean, not really Declan Rice, but okay, how do we win that this is not a good start why okay Declan Rice I thought we won the ball there he just swipes it back and plays it to Mbappe this is not what I wanted to see talk about the worst start of all time like I wasn't even ready we just got caught slipping sleeping three minutes in this is already one nil to PSG okay we need to wake up otherwise this can get bad very quickly Trent that is defending I need to see from you all right Jota gets that to Fabinho obviously Trent and uh Alani Robertson are both going to be bombing forward Yago shot, that's deflected, but it's going to go right to Donnarumma. Man, PSG in this game, sometimes they're, they're easy to beat, and sometimes they're just unbeatable. I feel like there's never in between. I'm afraid that we have gotten the unbeatable version of PSG in this game. I'm a little bit scared. Bro, everyone just feels insanely slow. Okay, Van Dyke just absolutely saved us right there. Corner swing in. We are kind of under a lot of pressure here. I think that was messy. That's going to be over the net. All right, we need, to, we need to score, and we need to get in this game. We have not got in it yet. Salah gets that to Nunez. Nunez trying to get back to Salah. Salah is going to get on this. We are going to stop. Oh, Salah, what a turn from Mohamed Salah. What a turn. Nunez, rebound. Donnarumma is just going to grab it. Bro, that was an insane turn from Salah. Thiago, wait for Nunez. Nunez, timed right. Nunez, can he get to it? Okay, Donnarumma, that's just great goalkeeping. Jota to Fabinho. Fabinho, try and lift that to Trent. Okay, that's not that's not exactly what I wanted. Thankfully, Virgil van Dijk on Mbappe. That is an insane challenge. Jota, get that to Nunez. Nunez, around the keeper. Oh, Donnarumma with the, the edge of his foot save. Okay, I mean, honestly, we're looking a little bit better, to be honest. Yeah, they got a free kick. And, of course, Lionel's on it, which I don't like. He is going to go for that. And that's over the... Okay, Allison had to, like sprint for that. Messi would have scored that. I would have just packed it up. Hey, we're heading, we're heading home, boys. Get your stuff. We're going home. Robertson, clearance at the near post. Gets it back to Leo, into Mbappe, Trent. Oh, man, I hate that little step back. I hate it in this game. It's just so effective from the CPU, but Trent does just enough there. Leo gets that to Mbappe. They are like, have, they're a fluid front through right now. They're like switching sides. They're doing everything together. Oh, man, that's a good ball. We're trying to block it. Okay, Van Dyke is in pretty much perfect positioning right there. Nunez through to Andy Robertson. Man is getting forward. Ding to someone. Oh, Jota. 
Henderson, the captain shot, and it's going to be blocked. Okay, we're, we're starting to look better, though. Okay, why did Thiago just stop? We are growing in confidence. Marquinhos, that's just a great challenge, though. Okay, that's first half. We looked better. I, I wish we would have tied this game up, though, in that first half. We got to tie this up quick in the second half. We can't let this linger on any longer. So, no subs yet, but I mean, Diaz, probably our first sub, I think. I feel like Jota hasn't really gotten the game that much. Jota gets that to Nunez. Nunez, great ball to Diego Jota, but Akimi. They're just so good. Like, this PSG squad is just absolutely insane. And they've just made so many signings IRL, like Ronaldo Sanchez, Mukiele. They have made so many signings, it's disgusting. Henderson gets that to Thiago. Thiago gives it to Henderson. Give it to Nunez. Nunez is going to shoot, but Marquinhos is just there. And we really can't get, like, a good, clean look at goal. It's been that Salah shot, and that's it. Jota gets that to Darwin. Darwin gets that to Hendo. Through to Salah. Salah keeps it. Salah keeps it. Dink. Two. Darwin Nunez and this game is tied up finally the breakthrough and it is the 88 million pound man Darwin Nunez was it 88 million I think it was close to that hey, I mean hopefully they have this kind of chemistry IRL it looks like they're they're doing decent together IRL so far Salah and Nunez and they combine to tie the Champions League final up Nunez it's just uh, it's just a great header okay I think we don't let up I think uh Diaz for Jota and that's it just for now well we definitely grow into this game more we gotta we gotta take control though anymore I guess that Alvaro Valverde then gets it to Mbappe he's gonna do a step over and oh man that's so desperate but we do defend it all right trent bombing forward i like it get it back to trent okay so i wanted that on trent's side not behind the uh defender that is a cross in and he's got to be messy there he does be messy and then hendo wins that okay there's a chance salah gets it to nunez nunez play it through to salah salah's got the pace here he's got to have the pace he does salah can he do it all himself i think he do it all himself i think he can he's gonna shoot and it's gonna be a great save man should i pass that one i don't know we're gonna we're gonna loft this into big uh big virgil van dyke Lofted in. Van Dyke's there for it. Okay, he went for something special. Salah is going to get that to Hendo. Just like Fulham. Finesse shot. Oh, that was a pretty good shot from Hendo. All right, 15 minutes. I mean, this, this could go either way. I think uh, Bellingham for Thiago is probably our next sub, next dead ball. Okay, where? Okay, we are caught out here a little bit. Just a little bit. Oh, Trent gets Neymar there. I like it. And then gets him a second time. It'll be a corner. Okay, fresh legs. Bellingham on for Thiago in the midfield. We need some fresh legs. We need some energy from Jude Bellingham. Corner lofted in from Lionel Messi. I think we should have that. Maybe we don't, but it's over the net. Come on, I'm feeling good about this. Honestly, I'm feeling confident. Nunez gets that to Salah. Trent is going to be bombing forward. Trent, a little cross to Nunez. Okay, that wasn't that was Trent's style. He wasn't his best cross. Endo gets that to Bellingham. Bellingham spread that to Luis Diaz. Diaz, I like the old. Oh, that ball touch was insane. Okay, how do we lose it, though? I'm, I try to pass that to Andy Robinson. Come on, six minutes. Six minutes. We got to defend here. Okay, Hendo. Oh, that's a captain's tackle right there. Come on, four minutes. We got a winner here. And yes, I feel it. We have the winner in us. Can we find it? Diaz. Cross to Mohamed Salah at the far post. And there is potentially the Champions League final winner by the main man of this whole entire squad, Mohamed Salah. What did I say about Luis Diaz? I criticized his playmaking ability to find teammates. That's what he does to win us maybe the Champions League final. What a cross by Luis Diaz at the far post. Oh, Salah gets free and then it's just a clean volley and this is 2-1. Oh, the technique on that is just, oh, it's just, it's picture perfect. Oh man, do we make a sub here or do we leave things as it is? I think we leave things uh, as it is. We got one minute plus out of time to just defend for our lives and we will have Champions League final redemption. All right, two minutes added on, come on. I don't want to see any nonsense. I do not want to see, oh, Trent, is that a foul? No, it's not, it's clean. All right, play it back to Allison. We are going to bomb this forward, and that is, that is going to be it. Liverpool win the Champions League final. Absolute redemption. We beat PSG. We go a goal down to come all the way back to beat them 2-1. That was absolutely beautiful. And the two main men of this rebuild, Darwin Nunez Salah, scoring both goals too. This is just, it's just pretty much perfection at this point. Oh, I am just, I am so happy with how that went. We looked shaky for the first like 20, 25 minutes, but after that, we, we grew into the game and we just absolutely took control. I mean, Thiago played his part, Bellingham played their part, Nunez played their part, the new signings. If this happens IRL, I would be, I would be over the moon. Jordan Henderson is in the lift. The Champions League trophy once again for Liverpool 2023 three yeah 2023 i think so yeah champions league winners in 2023 i mean technically it's 2024 if we're counting the first season as our next season okay it's very complicated we are champions league winners let's just say that let's leave it there hey sometimes we lose these finals and i thought we were going to lose this final to be honest with that start but we didn't panic we took control of the game and we have won it and we have completed the liverpool rebuild so if you enjoyed drop a like i'd appreciate it so much hit that sub button down below if you've not we're chasing 100,000 subs and drop in the comments which team you want to see us do next for our next realistic rebuild and you know, honestly this this rebuild could not have been more perfect in my eyes so that is it for this video i will see you guys in the next one hope you have a great day